Hey everyone, this is Harsh Bhardwaj and welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. In today's session, we are going to learn about C++ memory management. And do check out our other videos on the C++ series. So before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to subscribe to it and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So let's go ahead and have a look at what's in it for us. First is, what is memory management? Then we will understand why we need memory management in C++. Then we will learn memory allocation and deallocation in C++ using new operator and delete operator. And at last, we will understand the advantages of new operator in C++. So without further ado, let's get started. What is memory management? Memory management can be defined as a process in which management of a computer memory occurs. For example, assigning memory to programs, variables, etc. in such a way that it doesn't affect the overall performance. Sometimes the computer's data can range up to terabytes. So efficient use of memory is necessary so that we can minimize the memory wastage and boost up the performance. Now, let's understand why we need memory management in C++. Memory management is required so that there will be no wastage of memory and to make sure that allocation takes place efficiently. During the declaration of an array, there are times when the correct memory is not determined until runtime. And to avoid such cases, we usually declare array of maximum size. And because of this maximum size, some memory remains unused. For example, let us suppose we have declared an array of size 30. And after declaring the array, it turns out that we only need space of 10 size. So the rest of the space is of no use or we can say it will get wasted. To avoid such cases, we use memory allocation. So let's understand memory allocation and deallocation in C++. Other programming languages like Java, Python, etc. They don't need to allocate memory dynamically. In C language, we use the malloc or calloc functions to allocate the memory dynamically at runtime. And these functions are also supported by C++. But in C++, allocation and deallocation is done manually. In C++, there are two operators that are used for the allocation and deallocation of memory. That is new operator and delete operator. So, let's understand this new operator in C++. The new operator in C++ is used for the dynamic memory allocation. It is used to allocate the memory at runtime. The general syntax of new operator is pointer variable, which is the name of the pointer, equal to new, which is a keyword, and data type is the type of the pointer. The syntax for arrays is almost the same, but after the data type, we have to write the size inside the brackets, which specifies the number of elements in an array. And here in the example, we first of all are declaring a pointer PTR of int data type. After that, we are dynamically allocating the memory using new keyword. And at last, we are assigning the value 75 to the allocated memory. Coming to the delete operator. The delete operator in C++ is used for the deallocation of memory. When we no longer need to use the variable, that means the memory is no longer required, then we have to deallocate or release the memory using the delete operator. Syntax for delete operator is delete keyword with the name of the pointer variable. The syntax for arrays is delete keyword following the empty brackets and then name of pointer variable. As we can see in the example, once the printing of value is done, we have deallocated the memory using the delete operator. Moving on to the advantages of new operator. The new operator and delete operator can be overloaded unlike the malloc function. Next is, return type of the new operator is of the same type for which the memory was allocated. We don't need to use the typecasting. Third is, the new operator automatically computes the size of data object. We don't need to use the size of operator. 
Next is, new operator in C++ allows us to initialize object while creating memory space for them. So these were some advantages of the new operator. So now let's move on to our code editor that is VS Code to do some examples on the new operator and delete operator. Here we will do an example using new and delete operator in C++ that will allocate the memory location for three values and find their average. So first of all, let's create a file and name this file as mm1.cpp mm means memory management. So now first of all we'll include the header files hash include iostream now using namespace standard now we'll start with int main okay so first of all we'll create three pointer variables so we'll start int star ptr1 int star ptr2 we are creating three pointer variables because we have to find the sum of three variables so that is why we have to create three pointers also and now we have to store the sum of three variables into some another variable so we now will create the variable average okay now we will allocate the memory dynamically using the new keyword so we will write ptr1 equals new int which is the data type same we will do for ptr2 equals new keyword int here we are allocating the memory dynamically with the help of new keyword new int sorry m is there Now we will print the value that is stored in the memory. But before doing that, as we have allocated the memory, so now we will take the input from the users of those three variables of which we have to find the average of. So we will display enter first number after displaying this we'll take the input from the user we'll write c in and using the dereference operator write ptr1 here we are taking the input from the user for the first memory location now we'll take the input of the second number from the user for that we have to print the message again enter the second number Yeah. Now we'll take the input using the dereference operator with the pointer. Now same goes for the third one. Enter the third number. dereference operator ptr3 as we have taken all the three numbers from the user now all we have to do is to find the average of these three numbers as we know that dereference operator will point to the variable so 
that is how we'll get the access for the variable now we'll write the variable avg that is average we know that d reference operator will display the value that is pointer pointing at so we are actually adding the values ptr1 plus d reference operator ptr2 plus d reference operator ptr3 divided by 3 this is how we can find the average after that all we have to do is to print the average so we'll write average is avg that is the variable as the result is getting stored in this variable avg so we'll print that variable and once everything is done once the printing is then we have to deallocate the memory and we will deallocate the memory by writing delete ptr1 we have to do this for all of these three pointers delete ptr2 because we have allocated the memory for all of these three pointers so that is why we have to deallocate for all, each one of them okay now everything is done and let's try to run this here we can see enter the first number so let's say 5 we have to find the average of three numbers so we'll select the easy number to check whether it is right or wrong then we'll write 5 again now we'll write 2 as we know that 5 plus 5 equals 10 plus 2 equals 12 and the average of 12 is 4 yeah 3 4s are 12 so this is the correct output so first of all we have allocated the memory over here dynamically then we have deallocated the memory using delete ptr1 ptr2 and ptr3 so this is how it's done so let's do one another example let's name this as mm2.cpp okay we will write mm4.cpp i think 2 and 3 are already taken so we'll start with hash include io stream hash include io stream then we'll write using namespace standard so in this question we'll simply enter the elements of the array and then we will display those elements but we will use new operator and delete operator in this question so let's start first of all we'll write int main now inside int main first of all we'll write the variable size we have declared the variable size and this variable size is the size of the array which we will take as an input from the user so first of all will display enter the size enter the size now we'll take the input size after that we will declare a pointer variable ptr all right now here we will allocate the memory for the complete array so we'll write ptr new keyword int which is the data type and here size okay here we are allocating the memory for the complete array of size that we will enter okay now now we will display the message saying that enter the elements as we have allocated the memory 
Now all we have to do is to enter the elements. We'll use a for loop. So we'll start with int i equals zero, i less than size, i plus plus. Now we'll write element. And after this we'll take the input from the user for the elements of the array. So we'll write C in. Now just like arrays we can do it for the pointer as well. We can write PTR and just like arrays inside the bracket I. And we can do it for the output as well. So here we are taking the input of the elements from the users. Now we have to display those elements. So for that first of all we will display a message elements that you have entered. Now we will use for loop again int i equals 0 i less than size i plus plus now we'll print those elements so first of all we'll write element now ptr like just we did earlier ptr i and end line so that the output looks good. Now everything is done. We have allocated the memory. Then we have taken the input from the user and displayed the output. Now all we have to do is to delete the operator. So we'll write delete then empty brackets ptr. All right. Now everything is done. We have allocated the memory and here we are deleting the allocated memory. Okay. Now let's try to run this. Here we can see enter the size. Let's say 4. Now enter the elements. 3, 6, five seven and here is the output elements that you have entered three six five seven that is right but it is not looking good let's use slash n over here and now let's again try to run this enter the size four now two four seven nine uh, here is the space between them now it is looking good enter elements that you have entered are two four seven nine so this is how it's done we have allocated the memory to an array of size of size variable then we have entered the elements then we have displayed those elements and at last we have deallocated the memory using delete operator. So these were few examples on memory management, C++ memory management. You can try some more examples on them. Okay guys, with that we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.